about the two techniques that we did earlier today? Um, the technique we use is we use the cable ties. We use steel wire to attach the corals. And basically the first reef that we have created is covering an area of more than 160 square meters. The second technique we use are the coral ropes. And also we place, like here with the pops, we place fragments inside the ropes and we leave them for one year. Uh, the fragments that are collected are also from reefs and also from the nursery station. And after one year, once again, they've grown into big pieces of coral. We take the ropes that are 12 feet long. And when we take the ropes, we cut the nylon rope in between the corals. We cut it away and we attach the corals to one of our objects and one of the limestone reefs that we have been building here in the Blue Lagoon. Okay, so well, what is the survival rates of uh, using these techniques? They're doing really, really well. Uh, as well in the nursery, the pops and the coral ropes, we have a survival rate of more than 90, uh, 90%. Uh, it could even be up to 95%. So they're doing really, really well. Like many reefs here in the Maldives, after the coral bleaching uh, in 2016, uh, there was a lot of damage also of the crowns of thorns. These are sea stars that are actually eating the coral reefs. Uh, the reefs are recovering like mad, like crazy, and they're actually doing really, really well. Some reefs are even better, in a better shape than before the coral bleaching.